what's good everybody and welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you how to download the switch emulator eden eden is written in c with cross platforming that supports windows linux and also android c focuses on performance and lightning fast speed you can plug in your xbox or dualshock controller to this particular emulator as well and you can also play on keyboard and mouse in order to be successful with this particular download, you're going to need the actual Eden emulator, which I'll show you how to get that. You're going to need the firmware and you're going to need the product key. I cannot show you where to download the firmware or the product keys, but if you go to the link in the description, surprise, baby, everything will be there for you so you can be successful within this download. The first thing we're going to do is go to eden-emu.dev this is where we'll download the actual emulator eden the site is pretty cool if i do say so myself i've never seen an emulation site just this good the first thing i want you to do when you go here is click where it says system requirements this is where you'll see all your system requirements so that your eden emulator can run smoothly i often get asked what are the system requirements for emulators so this particular site having this is kind of clutch that's why i said eden is kind of different when it comes to their website you can tell that they put actual care inside the website and their actual product so the first thing i want you to do is click on the top where it says download as you can see here you can download eden for windows mac linux and also android today we'll be downloading it for windows once you click download it should take you to a github page i want you to go ahead and read all of this and after you read all this i want you to scroll all the way down and find the particular system that you're downloading eden for like i said for this particular example we'll be downloading it for windows once you click that you should get an indication at the top right that your eden emulator is downloading once your Eden emulator is done downloading, you should now have a folder. Once you have this folder, I want you to go ahead and right click it and I want you to extract all of it. Once you extract all of it, you should have a new folder. We're going to go ahead and double click that folder and open it up. We want to look for this indication right here that says Eden. This is our actual Switch emulator, Eden. Once we double click it and open it up for the first time, you might get this message right here. If you get this message, I want you to just go ahead and accept anything that it might ask you. After you accept or allow the first message, the next message you should get is this right here. If you have any other emulators, it'll pick up that you have other emulators. But for this one, we're going to start it from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and just simply click no. Once the actual emulator opens up, you should get an indication that says this. We're going to go ahead and add our keys and we're going to go ahead and add our firmware. The first thing we're going to do is click at the top where it says tools. We're going to go ahead and add our keys and our firmware. Remember, I cannot show you where to get the keys and the firmware from, but if you follow the directions in the surprise, baby. You should now be successful to do everything and follow along with this download with me. I want you to go to the top where it says tools and I want you to click where it says install decryption key. Once you do that, I want you to go ahead and find your keys. Click the file that says product.keys and then you want to click open. If you did it successfully, you would see this indication right here. The next thing we're going to do is add our firmware. I want you to go back to the top where it says tool and I want you to go ahead and hover over install firmware and click from folder. We're going to go ahead and find our firmware. We want to select the folder and simply click open. Let it do its thing and you should get the indication that your firmware was successfully installed as well. So now that we have our keys and our firmware installed, 
we want to go ahead and add our game. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new folder for our Switch game. I want you to right click on your desktop and I want you to make a new folder. We're going to name this particular folder Switch Game. Now this particular emulator takes NSP or XCI files. If you have an NSP or XCI files of any of your games, I want you to go ahead and add them to this folder that says Switch Games. I cannot tell you where to get the games from because me, I have an original copy of everything. But if you went to the link in the description, you have a surprise, baby. And it should help you follow along really well on this part as well. So once you have the games in your Switch Games folder, I want you to simply go ahead and double click in the middle where it says double click for your game. I want you to go ahead and search for the folder that you just made that says Switch Game. Once you select it, I want you to go ahead and click open. All your games should go ahead and pop right up for you. Now the next thing we're going to do is configure our controller. I want you to go to the top where it says emulation. I want you to click where it says configure. And then I want you to go ahead and click where it says control. Once you're here at control, remember that I said that this takes an Xbox, a DualShock, or you can play on keyboard and mouse. If you're playing on an Xbox controller or a DualShock controller, where it says pro controller, I want you to go ahead and keep it on there on the drop. You can also connect Joy Cons or any other device that's Bluetooth that you might want to connect. But for this particular example, I'll be on a DualShock controller. I want you to hit the indication that says Pro Controller. And under Input Device, I want you to go ahead and hit this drop down and select whatever device you have hooked up to your emulator. To configure each button, all you simply have to do is click whatever you want to configure and click the corresponding buttons on your particular controller. So we're going to go ahead and pick the left D-pad and we're just going to hit left on our controller. And once everything is good, you should be able to press the buttons and you should see it lighten up red on your actual controller in front of you. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and press OK. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and configure our actual system. I want you to go back to the top where it says emulation. I want you to go to configure and then I want you to go to where it says graphics. For the graphics, the API, we're going to go ahead and keep that on Vulkan and we're going to make sure our actual graphics card is selected on our device. We're going to go down to where it says resolution. This is where you can upscale your device or even downscale your device. If you're having any rip problems or any lagging issues, don't forget that this is the place that you want to go to configure anything on your device. Once you're done configuring all that, you're going to go ahead and click OK. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add DLCs or updates to your games. So if you want to add an update or a DLC to your game, you're simply going to go to the top where it says file and you're going to click where it says install files to NAND. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and find the update or DLC. You want to click it and you want to select open. You should get this indication right here. All you're going to do is click install, let it do its thing, and you should get the indication that your update or DLC was installed. That's the last step to setting up this particular emulator. What games are you excited to play? Please, if you have any questions about setting up this particular emulator, or you want to just talk in general, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Trust me, I respond to everything. Well, at least I try to. I appreciate everybody that took the time to watch this video. And don't forget, give me baby a lot. Peace.